Brakate Yahoah, Brakate Yahweh Shai, Kaha Long Yamla, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Brahaha Kodash, which means all praises to Yahweh is the name of Heavenly Father. Bahasham means in the name. Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten son, who the world eternally called Jesus Christ. Barachah Kodash means in the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth, the only way you can worship the Father and the Son. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers preaching the gospel and truth and the sincerity, all and charity. So, Brother Mathatia from the Great Millstone Camp, that branch on Des Moines. And as you can see, the title of the lesson is entitled 100% Truth. And a lot of cats get mad, you know, because we proclaim that. And, and pretty much all we're saying is that, uh, um, we have what it, uh, uh, we have the knowledge, or we have what it what it takes to receive salvation, man. You know, the Lord has revealed all things unto us uh, pertaining to salvation, right? And without further ado, we will just get right into it. This is Baruch three, and I'm gonna start at thirty five. It says, "This is our power, and there shall none other be accounted of in comparison of Him. He hath found out all the way of knowledge." And hath given it unto Jacob his servant, and to Israel his beloved. Amos 3 and 7. Surely the Lord would do nothing, but he revealeth his secrets unto his servants, the prophets, the prophets, the priests, the leaders. And they will go out and tell the people. Right? Verse 37. Afterward did he show himself upon earth and conversed with men. Which letting you know this is talking about our Lord and Savior, Hawashai. You know? He showed himself on earth and conversed with men uh, uh, during the time of Abraham. Right? Melchizedek, Malak Tazadak, he came down and Abraham um, uh, uh, paid him tights, you know. He also came down and conversed with Abraham when he came uh, to tell him he was going to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah and the neighboring cities, right? Also in the book of Joshua, man, Joshua approached him. It said that the captain of the Lord's host was there. That was our Lord Yahweh Shah, appearing on the earth, conversing with men. And the ultimate example is what? When he walked the earth uh, uh, 2,000 years ago, man. When he came to sacrifice himself and rise again for our justification, right? So let's get that. This is the book of Jeremiah. <clears throat> I'm sorry, not Jeremiah. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 11 and uh, 25. It says, At that time, Yahweh Shai answered and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent and has revealed them unto babes, unto the insignificant, man. This is 1 Corinthians 1, and let's see. This is 1 Corinthians 1 and 27. It says, but the most I have chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. We would represent the foolish of the world, man. Majority of us brothers didn't, didn't go to college. A lot of brothers didn't graduate high school, right? We're looked at as 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 insignificant as nothing. Look at these cats, man. Have no no um no uh, uh, uh formal education, so to speak, right? And we're confounding uh, uh men with uh, PhDs, scientists, philosophers, professors, so forth and so on, right? And the most I have chosen the weak things of the world, meaning what? We have no strength to confound the things which are mighty. Look at these things that's being pushed on on, on mainstream media, right? Uh, evolution being pushed all over the earth that's something that's mighty that's a stronghold and look at the look at these lowly men as us uh, uh, uh tearing those things down through the spirit and power of your how about right verse 28 and base things of the world and things which are despised yeah like what they are uh, we they label us with these bywords niggas spicks wetbacks tontos right so forth and so on man we are the base things and despise, right? Have the most high chosen. Yea, and things which are not to bring to naught things that are. Yeah, we're look at us. We have no certain dwelling place, man. We ain't got no nation. We ain't got no military. We ain't got no people. We ain't got no kingdom, right? And we're bringing to naught through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh, Shah, all these things that are, man. As America, America is being brought to naught. And everything that uh, 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 that's joined unto it, this whole society is being brought to naught, right? Verse 29, that no flesh should glory in his presence. The water you how about Sham Yahweh Shai, man, right? But let's go back. It's back back in Matthew 11, verse 26. Even so, Father, for so it seemed good in thy sight, meaning it was the will of Yahweh, our heavenly Father. That's how he written it. Verse 27, all things are delivered unto me of my Father, and no man knoweth the Son but the Father. Neither knoweth any man the Father save the Son. And he to whomsoever the Son will reveal him. 
So the son has revealed the father unto certain men. As it is written in the 13th chapter, it is given unto you to know the mysteries uh, uh, in the parables, but it's not given unto them. Roughly paraphrasing, right? From there, let's get John. Let's jump to John 17 and let's start at 6. It says, I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. You see? So going back to that uh, uh, Matthew 11, uh, the, the, our father Yahweh delivered all things to Yahweh Shah, and Yahweh Shah in turn delivered it unto the men that the Most High gave unto Yahweh Shah, right? I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Thine they were, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word. Now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee, for I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me, and they have received them and have known surely that I came out from thee, and they have believed that thou didst send me. You see? So this, this, this we, uh, Yahweh Shah, um, matter of fact, the scripture is going to explain it. Let's go to John 4. This is John 4. In 25, right? It says, the woman saith unto him. Now, this is the woman by the well, right? Then this woman being a heathen and this woman and uh, uh, she was raised in our customs thinking, thinking that she was one of us, which she, which, which she wasn't right. Which is why our Lord Yahweh Shah said what he said unto her. But, but it goes back into the history in the book of Kings. Uh, um, I believe it's second Kings, if I'm not mistaken, where uh, the king of Assyria removed the northern kingdom. Right. And place heathens into that land. So so and, and, and the priest came and taught them customs of the land. So a lot of these heathen, just like today, a lot of these heathen truly believe that they, they that they descendants of uh, Jacob, which they are not. Right. But this woman, she was raised in our customs. She understood and knew that the Messiah would come and teach all things because that will that's what was taught within our heritage, within our custom. Right. But this is St. John 4 and 25. The woman saith unto him, I know that Messiah cometh which is called Hamashiach. When he is come, he will tell us all things. Yahweh Shah saith unto her, I that speak unto thee am he. Right? So it's common knowledge that when Yahweh Shah came, he would expound all things unto his disciples. This is the book of St. John 15 and 15, right? Matter of fact, I'm going to hold that because I, I uh, um, I made the statement and said that uh, uh, the Most High established that what? All things be uh, given to Yahweh Shah, right? And he would in turn seal them amongst his disciples. This is the book of uh, Isaiah 8 and 16. Bind up the testimony, seal the law among my disciples. You see? Which is all prophecy, man. And the words of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah has been fulfilled even as we speak, man. We live in beautiful times. Let's go back, though. It's John 15, 15. Henceforth, I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth. But I have called you friends for all things that I have heard of my father, I have made known unto you. So we have 100 percent knowledge in order to uh, in order to receive salvation, man. All these scriptures is letting us know that we know all things. But you got guys that wanna oh, no, 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 and be mad when we say that, man. Ultimately, be mad at yourself because you ain't got it. The water Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah for revealing these things unto us, man. Right? From there, let's get the the book of uh Second Peter. I think I already had it pulled up. Yep. This is Second Peter one and one. Simon. It says Simon Peter, a servant and an apostle of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, right? Which is the head of the church, you know. Yahweh Shah said, upon this uh, 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 rock will I build my church. That's what Peter means. It means rock or stone. And the Hebrew is kop, you know, translated to Cephas, right? It says, Simon Peter, a servant and an apostle of Yahweh Shah HaMashiach, to them that have obtained like precious faith with us through the righteousness of the Most High and our Savior, Yahweh Shah HaMashiach. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of the Most High and of all of Yahweh Shah, our Lord. This is the point. Verse three, according as his divine power hath given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that hath called us to glory and virtue, man. Which lines up with what Paul, uh, not Paul, but what John said, right? This is the book of first John two and 20. It says, but ye have an unction 
that word unction, right, is charisma in the Greek. Anything smeared on, ungent, ointment, usually prepared for the he by the Hebrews from oil and aromatic herbs. Anointing was the inaugural ceremony for priests. And the scripture says, uh, the Lord have made us kings and priests, right? In the book of Malachi, uh, the second chapter, the seventh verse, it says that the priest's lips should keep knowledge and they shall keep the law. Uh, 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 and um, let's get it. I don't want to butcher it. This is Malachi 2 and 7. It says, for the priest's lips should keep knowledge and they should seek the law at his mouth. For he is the messenger of Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai, Lord of hosts. You see? So we have an anointing. And we know all things through this anointing is how we broke uh, 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 the bonds, right? This is um, Isaiah 10 and 27. It shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulder and his yoke from off thy neck and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing, meaning this knowledge. As it is written, the truth shall set us free. 100% truth, man. In order to receive salvation, let's go back. First John 2 and 20. But ye have an unction from the Holy One and ye know all things. Because Yahweh shall reveal all things unto us, and he received it from his father, from our father, Yahweh, Abba Nawa. Right? So, Lord willing, I hope that was edifying. To Wadi Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah for giving me a spirit to do this lesson. I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Baracha, Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers preaching the gospel in truth and in sincerity, always in charity. Shalom.